Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Ten Below. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Weather Nerds YouTube page. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski, and welcome to the Snow Blaster Forecast. Yeah, this is going to be a regular segment I'm going to do for you snow lovers out there as we're going to compare the European model to the American GFS model as far as where we're expecting snow to fall over the next 10 days. Now, right now, we're looking first at the European model, and right now, I'm going to be looking at two areas I'm going to watch very, very closely as we head into the next 10 days. That's going to be this area across the inner mountain region here. That's zone area number one. And toward the end of the model run here on the European model, we'll be taking care of this other region here across the northeast. Let's do that again right there. That'll be the area that I'll also be watching. So let's go ahead and step you through the forecast here as we go through the forecast period and check to see how things are going to evolve. So first we're going to be watching the areas there across Idaho and Montana and stretching into portions of Wyoming. That'll be going in to this coming Friday. Got a little snow falling there and then maybe a little bit more with another system moving in, uh, dropping some heavier amounts across portions of the northwest sections of Wyoming uh, going into early next week. So you can see a little more coming in there and uh, we can check some of those amounts again falling through here as we head in through uh, this is going into the middle of next week where the heavier snow is kind of falling through there. So you can see these snowfall totals up to 12 to inches. So Idaho, Montana looking pretty snowy to say the least as we head into the middle of next week. Not looking too bad. Now as I go ahead and step you through this further, uh, we'll see it kind of spread out a little bit there. And then another round of snow comes into the areas of the northeast. So we're looking at some pretty decent snows across this area right in here, up across the northeast, looking at another area of snow as well. So some of those totals, not as impressive as out west, but five, six, seven, you know, not looking too bad up through Maine, uh, uh, portions of Vermont and New Hampshire and portions of New York State getting in on the snow action as well. Now, how does this model compare to the GFS? Let's take a look. Now, looking at the American GFS model, it's a little more aggressive as far as where the snow will potentially fall across areas of the country as we're going to be going through the forecast period. And so I'm going to be looking at three different areas. Again, still looking at this region here with the snow, but also an area down here toward the south, maybe getting into Kansas with the area of snow, and also showing here across portions of the northeast, and also up here across portions of, say, North Dakota, as well as Minnesota, as far as the GFS American model is concerned for the next 10 days. So let's go ahead and step you through this again, as we're going to be seeing that snow kind of falling again in the same area. Still looking at the Intermountain region for portions of Montana down toward Wyoming as we go into this upcoming weekend. Notice a little bit of snow starts to spread across areas of, say, the Dakotas and Minnesota as we go into portions of of say next week into early Monday. So you're looking up in here for some snow action where you weren't really seeing that on the European model. And then we'll continue to progress this continuing forward again, uh, going further into time. And you see that other area down toward the south. So you step this back again. So you see another little pullout system coming out of the Rockies coming into South Dakota. And then again, through portions of Kansas. So that's another area of potential snow uh, right through here, be watching as we head into, say, uh, overnight Wednesday and into Thursday, into Thursday for that area into next week. So, and then progressing this even further at the end of the 10 day, you notice that the Northeast gets on the action, that same little system. So it pulls out of the plains and then pulls into the Northeast. And you see in the snow action across the Northeast as we go through the next 10 days. Uh, so a little more aggressive there with the with the snow totals there, uh, as we're going to be seeing some pretty decent snow melts across the areas of the northeast. So that's right up here as we go into the 10-day uh, period. This is going into the end of next week, into Thursday, and into Friday, uh, getting in on the rain on the snow action uh, as we head towards say the 15th and 16th of the month. So the GFS model definitely a little more aggressive than the European model. I'll tell you. As a forecaster, I definitely lean more toward the European model. But for you snow lovers out there, you know, you can always hope that the GFS American model will verify a little bit uh, closer to what's expected over the next 10 days. Now, Snow Miser is my unofficial mascot for this segment. And if you could do me a favor, go ahead and give me a subscription on my new, new channel here. 
I'm trying to build this thing up, get it going, and like to get more of an audience on here. And uh, you can check back here. Hope to make this a regular feature, uh, so you guys can check back and check where we can expect snow uh, as we head closer and closer to the winter months. That's your forecast for now. We'll see you guys on the next update. See you later.